Thank you. Here's the deal. Email volume was driving up the cost of our email system. We were spending out the wazoo to add more Microsoft Exchange servers and backup storage for each server. My boss doesn't like anything coming out the wazoo. But IT admins kept adding more servers because each server has a certain capacity of messages it can deal with. The more messages, the fewer users each server can support before it becomes unstable or runs out of storage space. Enterprise Vault takes messages out of the email system, compresses them by removing duplicates like the same attachment sent to 10,000 people. Then it archives them onto cheaper storage, like one third the cost cheaper. Now you and I know that secret, but Enterprise Vault hides the fact that it's done this from the end users. It's good to keep those people on a need to know basis. They like it better that way and it cuts the amount of time you have to spend helping them by like 94%. So, email works the same way as it did before. You just double click on a message to open it, and under the covers, EV goes into the archive, pulls out the message, and displays it to you. You don't have to do anything differently to get your email, but you now need fewer servers and less storage, like 50% less storage. At the same time, EV creates a full text index of all messages and all attachments. It does this so users can easily find messages that are in the archive, and to support electronic discovery, or e-discovery which is when lawyers want your email for some court case. Friggin' lawyers. You're dreaming if you think they're not gonna read all our email someday. I'm not happy about it, but the law, which the lawyers wrote, FYI, says if you don't have the email, you're in trouble, like fines and jail time trouble. So, read away, lawyers. Summing up, if you don't install Enterprise Vault, your email system goes unstable due to the volume of messages. Your administration time skyrockets because you have to administer a growing number of exchange servers. Your cost per mailbox skyrockets. Time to back up your servers gets longer and longer and longer because there's so much more to back up. We were getting close to backup times longer than 24 hours because we had so much data. We were getting ready to go to backup every other day. But Enterprise Vault is always on and automatic, if you want it to be. Set it and forget it. We never regret it. And if we had to get something for those lawyers the old way, forget it. You had to get the right backup tapes from the place where you keep those. Quick, where is it? You don't know, right? Well, somebody does. Then you find out the backup images on the tapes don't run on the servers you got now. Too bad you threw those old ones away. So. You have to find some old machines on eBay, and you're back in business. Except the backup tapes overlap, so you have to sort through that mess. And nothing is indexed, so you have to print it all out and let the lawyers figure it out at $1,000 per day per purse. You do the math, as they say. Plus, check the clock, because you're probably late for your court date. But hey, that's not the room full of $700 an hour lawyers working through lunch can't help you with. With Enterprise Vault, one person can sort everything by dates, recipients, or keywords faster than you can say paralegal helper dudes. But without Enterprise Vault, you better get ready to pay those dudes because a big company, who will not mention by name, already lost a billion dollars in 2005 because it couldn't find the right email. You got a billion dollars laying around? <laughs> Me neither. Mm. So, if you're solving email problems with an email quota, and your employees are deleting things to empty their email boxes on their own, you better hope they don't throw away something important. Or you could just listen to the man. He's trying to save you some money and some ass pain, which is always nice to save. Take it away.